Hey guys, it's me. I'm going to show you how to fill out our um, argumentative loose outline for today. I'm going to use the example puppies versus kittens so that I don't influence you in any way. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is up here, your main idea. The main idea is going to be your overall main idea. So for you guys, it's going to be, I think blank is better than blank, whether you're arguing the book or the hero. So I could say, um, puppies are better than kittens. Okay, so now I have my main idea filled out. The next thing I need to do is come up with three reasons why. Those go in these lines right here. So I could say um, they have more energy to play. Um, they have, uh, they can do tricks, they can learn tricks, and this is a good time to think about, remember your extra requirement for whichever essay you decide to do. So if I'm doing essay one, which is comparing the books, I need to think of a literary device that I think that book used better. If I'm doing option two, which is comparing the heroes themselves, I need to have an outside source. So let's say I did some research and I say uh, puppies.com says they uh, are more loyal. So this is a good time to make sure that you have that extra requirement already filled out and ready to go. So then, in here, this is where I'm going to put some of my evidence. If you guys found a good evidence yesterday in when you were doing your um, brainstorming, then you're already going to have plenty of evidence. So you could say like, you know, page 20, uh, where he does this, or like, you know, you have your examples in here. So that's what goes in these bubbles. Next, you're going to come over to the other side of this line. This is where we're going to look at our counter-argument. The counter-argument is when um, you're going to address something that the other side is probably going to argue and shut it down before they even get a chance to argue it. So I'm going to think, if I was on Kitten's side, what's something that maybe they'll say? Um, I could say that they are um, cuter. So you could argue that kittens are cuter, but then remember, now I have to refute it. I have to prove that wrong. Let's say why my side is still better. Um, but the cuteness just hides the evil. So I've said, even though the other side is going to say that kittens are cuter, my side is still right because the cuteness is just a, a, a hiding over the evil of the kittens. Uh, then we're going to come up, the very last thing is our strong finish. This is kind of hard to do when you're, um, you haven't written it yet, you're just still thinking about it, but really think about it as a takeaway. What do I want my audience to really learn or do or think now that they've read my whole essay and they have all these ideas. So maybe I want them to um, go read the books for themselves and, and, and see why I'm right. Or maybe I want them to go out and adopt a puppy. So um, pick puppy next time you get a pet. So, and again, like, this can change as you're writing your essay. If I get through my essay and I realize, like, this is not going to fit in with what I ended up writing, that's totally fine. This is us organizing our ideas and making sure we have a layout because eventually this is going to be made into our thesis. These will be our three body paragraphs. We'll have a paragraph for the counter-argument, and then, of course, you'll have your conclusion. So eventually this will be your essay. 